guys welcome back to another episode of no man's sky so like i said last episode i was planning on going to the other planet we already have a signal that we can go to check that out so let's do that right now and we'll head on over there uh there was two creatures left on this planet but they were just not easy to find so i'm not gonna bother with it too much but um go to this other ancient ruins and we'll take a look what we have what we can find there so this is it's only a two planet system so basically a system like solar system can range from actually before we get over there let's see what the planet offers um star ball pi sentinel yeah this is easy stuff Okay, so, um, yeah, so planets in a system can range from, I believe, what Wiki said was 2 to 6, I think, might be 7, I'm not sure, but, um, usually there's only 2 at the very minimum, so, and they're all procedurally generated, too, so every planet's going to be different. Uh, different biome, well, not really biomes, but different flora, fauna, structure, locations, different types of environments, all that kind of stuff. Alright, so we've got ancient runes. Uh, I haven't, I don't think I've been to one of these for a while, so. Let's see, I forget what it actually offers, so we'll take a look, we'll see what we can get from it. Can't scan some stuff while we're here too. Doesn't actually look like there's a lot of things to scan on this island, but um, we can get some of these. These are knowledge stones, so it can help us with language. There's another one over here. Not sure if there's other ones down there or not. There's another one here. Now, um, I'm not sure what this uh, knowledge place actually offers. Whoa, that's pretty steep. Okay, let's go over here. Let's see what we do. Um, let's see what options off. Seek knowledge of the past, get help with language. Let's go with seek knowledge of the past. Historical data revealed.
Alrighty then, so I am just about to go take a swim, try to scan some stuff that we haven't scanned before. I think there are some things around here that we can actually scan. We might want to find something a little bit deeper, to be honest, but uh, we got all the creatures already, so we don't need to worry about that. Let's see if we can't get in here and get some of the other stuff. That's scannable, probably not. That is, I think we got that already. Get that. I think that's about everything in this little pond. Uh, let's just see around here if there's anything else. Scan those. Yeah, I would say that's probably it. Oh, no. That I know I haven't scanned. Just kind of go this way. We'll see if there's anything on the side. And if there is, then scan it. Just for some extra currency. We're doing pretty good for currency, and I haven't really been actually manufacturing anything, actually, so... Okay, yeah, I, I would say that's pr pretty much good for this planet. Um, we can go, I guess, to the space station. Might need to spawn in our ship here because I think we're pretty far away from it. But yeah, 800. Yeah, let's just spawn it in. I could get, actually, the hovercraft. We haven't used that in a while. It's pretty fast, too. Doesn't have all that environment safety stuff on it, but it can go over water. So we should be able to get there pretty quickly. Actually, I remember it being a lot faster. Might have to work on the upgrades for it. Okay, so I'll head back to the ship and then we can start working on uh, getting some extra trading materials. We'll see if we can't find one or two places to buy that from. And then we'll uh, go find another system. I think that would be the best thing to do. So there we are. We're already at our ship. Awesome. Okay, so let's go to
then. Um, we got something. Uh, not worth too much, but 210,000 units. It's uh, hand foil cutting, so some sort of um, plant of some sort. So, uh, yeah, we can probably sell that to somebody for some profit. But uh, let's go to the space station and we'll see if we can't purchase some more stuff. Usually. Um, while we're out, like, out this direction and stuff like that, we have more planets to discover, but I'm not sure if there's going to be any extra trades we can actually get at the moment. So, we could try going to the space station and see if there's anything we can pick up. If not, then we'll try our base, our freighter. And if there is something we can get there, then we'll get it there. But if not, then we'll just move on to the next system with what we got. Probably a trading one, because we have more trading stuff than other... Like, other stuff to trade, so... Alright, so let's just quickly take a quick look in here and we'll see... Oh, and these trade terminals, the one here and the one in the back are connected. So yeah, it looks like they're not fully recharged yet. Uh, it'll probably take a while now. Another option would be to do a mission. Um, okay, I think these change every day, I'm not sure. Because I remember this being hunting... Maybe that was hunting pirates, I can't remember. Kill loving creatures, a little hard to do on this system because there's always uh, sentinels, but that is for a storage argument. Nah, I'm good, I'm good. Um, let's go ahead and just get back to our ship and we'll take a look if we can, can't trade from the, the freighter base instead. Maybe we can't, I'm not sure if there are. they're all connected, but I know the ones on planet and the ones that we just uh the space station are connected for sure so uh just prices vary now where is our freighter there it is I did buy a ship too.
Okay, so I spent all our nanites on upgrading this wonderful ship that we just uh, purchased on this planet. It was a class B to begin with, and then I upgraded to class A and then class S. Uh, I also purchased a bunch of um, actual tech slots so we can quickly just move some of this stuff over uh, to the other side here and set up uh, the stuff. So we have a few advanced slots that we can use and some of these other slots we don't really need. But I want to keep kind of the recharging stuff close together. So we can put all the recharging stuff over here. Maybe the weapons and stuff on another side. So we'll do something like this, I guess. And actually, you know what? That should probably stay over there. Because... Oh, there's another one right here. Um... Okay, what we'll do is we'll put our ballista on this side unless we want our phase beam but we don't have much other phase beam material because um, this doesn't do a lot of damage but this does more damage so we might want something like this instead and we can put the ballista on this side Yeah, something like that. That will do for now. All right, and then we got a one of those speeding things. We might be able to fit that on. Yeah. So there we go. Um, yeah. Outside that, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.